Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today we're checking out a new venue, for me anyway, and we're checking in with some new faces, old faces, and everything in between. If you have a suggestion for a venue or act that I should cover, hit me up in the comments or by using either my email address or the Room 6 social media link down in the description. While you're down there, please consider subscribing and ringing the bell so you don't miss out on future reviews, interviews, live streams, and more. Thanks! Incidentally, if you're a musical act and would like to be reviewed, interviewed, or both, hit me up using the same ways I just mentioned. We'll have some fun. Like the thumbnail said, this time we're checking out The Space, a venue located in an industrial park that's designed to feel like it's located off-Broadway, but really, it's off-strip. You got all that? I know it's a bit confusing. Try to keep up. As I mentioned in the intro, the space is located near Dean Martin Drive inside an industrial park. Established in January of 2017, owner Mark Shanock set out to create an off-Broadway theater feel to a 3,000 square foot all-ages space that anyone can rent out while also providing a unique and full-featured live music venue. The spot also includes a black theater box, podcast studio, piano bar and lobby, and there's also plans for a future full-on recording studio. Mark also created Monday's Dark, a semi-regular fundraising event that aims to raise $10,000 in 90 minutes for charity that goes into the local community. I was at the space to check out a metal show featuring all local acts, including Room 6 alumni, Mazilla. Wait a minute. There we go. Gotta represent. I'll be reviewing that show soon in another video, so stay tuned for that. From the beginning, the audience is given a unique theater experience from the box office reasonably priced bar, polar bear, and library in the lobby, to the unisex bathroom with themed toilet stalls. Once the doors opened, we were admitted entrance to, well, the space where the show would go down, with a nice big stage, nice lighting, and a great sound system, monitors on all the walls, and a giant screen on stage which showed band logos or music videos as the band played and the crowd grew and rocked out. The layout was well thought out, and any time you needed a break from the show, or the volume, or a refresh on your drink, you could just step into the lobby, get yourself taken care of, and still hear the show, but be able to carry on a conversation. It was nice. Overall, the space is an amazing live music venue that offers so much more. Special shout out to Trenton, Sierra, Emily, and the rest of the space staff for making me feel welcome and giving me a little behind the scenes peek. I appreciate all of you, and I appreciate all that you have to offer. And I look forward to reviewing more shows at the space in the future. And I'm glad I got the chance to check it out. Thanks for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope that you'll swing by the space if you get the chance. Definitely, definitely, definitely go see a show there. It's amazing. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to be on the channel, like I said, hit me up using my email address or the Room 6 social media link. It's also where you can support the channel with great merch like Training for the Mosh Pit. Make music not... Make music not excuses. Or just let everybody know that you support Room 6. Uh, in the meantime, if you want to see more videos like this, please click up here. And if you'd like to subscribe to the channel, I appreciate all of you. It really does make a difference. Please click down there and don't forget to ring the bell. Remember to be amazing, and we'll see you next time on Room 6.